I ain't playing basketball, but I pull up shoes, Yo, yo, we're back in After Effects and I had this clip in my timeline. The effect that I'll be making today is gone with the basketball rooting behind him. You can see it in your screen. So enough of intro, I'm gonna show you how to do that. To start off, hit Ctrl Y in keyboard to make a solid layer. It can be any color that you want. Let's just go with the red for example and just hit OK and your solid layer will be created. Then you'll need a plug in called element 3d element 3d is necessary to import any kind of 3d model into your scene so make sure you downloaded that like i showed in my last video the element 3d is not that difficult to use it is pretty simple and straightforward so let's just go over to our effect control and hit scene setup to go into this new panel so to import your 3d model just hit on import and it will bring your file explorer then you can search your 3d model which is this for me the 3d model will be laying down below so you can download and follow up with the tutorial then just i'm gonna open it open it and and you can see our 3d model is imported then in group folder in basketball you can open that and you can see two different material one is the whole basketball and one is the strips on it so to add material go to your street shades and you can go over to physical if you add a light shader you can also use that that is pretty good for now i'm gonna just use the default so for the strip i'm gonna add a black material into it and for the base color i'm gonna add this red and we can just go down here and just change the color of it to something like orange like a real basketball and i guess this looks pretty fine so now we can exit out of it and then you can go over to custom layer go over to custom texture maps and select your footage as the custom texture map and go over to scene setup again and you can go over to environment now and just select your custom layer one footage and hit ok so if i enable the environment you can see our environment is our footage so now we can just exit out and you can see our 3d basketball in here in the scene after that for now i'm gonna make our solid layer invisible so we can track the camera of our scene so to track the camera go over to tracker and just hit track camera and you can go into advanced and just hit detail analysis and just let it track after that you will have this whole bunch of track points in your scene but we want to create a camera so we can just hit create camera and it will create a new camera for us and if i enable uh, my element 3d layer you can see the basketball is tracked to our scene now we can open up group one go open up particle replicator and particle look and you can bring up the size of your basketball so i'll be starting my animation from here rolling down you can go to particle rotation and play with that and i'm gonna hit the stopwatch in position x and y i guess i'm gonna bring up the size more then go over to my first frame put it out of frame like that and go over to last and just make it in another side and put it down now what you want to do is go over to particle rotation and hit the stopwatch in random rotation go over to the last frame again and just bring up the rotation then our animation is pretty much done now we can hide the layer for now we have to rotoscope our subject then select the rotor brush tool and go over the first frame double tap to get into layer panel and you can just start rotoscoping from now so after your rotoscope, duplicate your layer and delete the rotoscope from the bottom layer. So we have our subject separated from the background. Then what I'm gonna do is put it over my solid layer and, and just enable that layer. Now we can see the basketball is behind our subject. I also really wanna rotoscope this out so I'm gonna do that too. And after that my animation looks like this. I guess the ball is too high so I'm gonna bring down the position at the first frame and I'm gonna bring down the size a little bit too. So after making some adjustment my animation looked like this. So I will add a little tritone in here and for the midtones I'm gonna select his basketball like that and just bring up the blend with the original around like 50 or 30 percent so it also blends with the scene after that you can go over to render settings go over to motion blur and just turn it on and make the motion blur sample to like to like 25 after that our basketball will have some dope motion blur and lastly what i'm gonna do is if you have regen vfx suite then you can add like a reflection 
this is the part of the vfx suite and it is pretty dope so i'm gonna put it in like this follow our movement and i'm gonna put this corner above like here and you can animate the axis start and axis end after that finally you can lower the opacity of the reflection that plugin really makes it look really real so i guess we're pretty much done and this was my final result and you can subscribe my channel for more videos like this and the 3d model will be linked down below so you can download so see you in the next video bye